Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. Another one of my basic part design exercises, the bugleisen or ironing plate. Yeah, that's a sweep, two ribs and a spiral pattern. So, let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. And this should look something like this here. Let's add a circle, maybe like that here. Yeah, looks okay. Now let's add some dimensions. And I will go with the values which they are right now. Because if you change it immediately, it will kill your profile. So this should have a dimension. That should have a dimension here. No. Nope. Like that. And this should be a dimension. And that circle should have a dimension. Okay, now let's trim. And maybe to make sure this one is aligned with that one horizontal. Now, if you change the values, it will sort of uh, not work, but just keep on going. I want this to be 40. Yeah, this worked. Sort of, at least. So this should be... No, this one should be 11. This should be 11. This should be 22. This should be 2.5 and that diameter should be 102. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Now let's align this with the origin, the sketch origin like that. Yeah, this didn't work, so let's undo that. It happens, let's take a look. 1140, 1122, 2.5, 102. Maybe I snapped on something. No. Let's move it down. Drag it, if possible, over here. Oh, yeah. See? This is the error I snapped onto that. Here, so let's delete this one here. That one should be removed. Let's see. Nope. How to remove that constraint? This one. That alignment, the vertical alignment. Select. Create selection. Zoom to fit. Delete sketch entity. And now it should be possible to align it with that point here. Okay. And it's fully defined. So let's leave that sketch. Now I need another sketch on the top plane. Sketch right there. And this should look something like this. No. Try to snap here, try to snap there, yeah, okay, make it symmetric, so this line and that line should be symmetric to that plane here, and also this line and that line should be symmetric to that plane as well. Now let's add some dimensions, or maybe first to a round or fill it, there you go. 
like that so that well is a little bit too big so let's go for 10 just for the moment and correct it afterwards now the distance from this line to the center point of that fillet here like that should be 280 okay so this distance here should no yeah this one as well but i i need that point here okay this should be 180 and from this line to that line it should be again 180 looks pretty good now let's move this point onto that line here and change that value to let's say 50 yeah looks pretty good leave that sketch now i can do a sweep so sweep i want to sweep that profile here and the sweep path should be sketch 2. Nice. And confirm. Now I need another sketch and therefore I will need an additional plane. So I go for a plane which has a distance of 40 minus 5 Point five. Why? Because the top should be 11 millimeter thick and I can do a rip only neutral which means to both sides with the same dimension. And I want to close this at the top with two rips. So that plane should have of course a distance to that top plane like that. Now, I could hide, do I need those? Yeah, I could hide this and I could hide that plane here. But maybe I will need the other one. So bring it, bring it back. Now, the sketch should be on plane one. I want to use just a small line maybe like that you can fully define it it's not necessary if you want you have to maybe put this point onto that one or give it two dimensions make only sure it's in the middle right in the middle so it's aligned with that plane collinear now leave that sketch and now i can do a rip so go for a rip that would be the sketch. It's parallel to the sketch plane. The thickness should be 11. So I had to take half, 5.5, of the height of 40. And the parts, that's the part. And now extend the profile to the part. And it closes one half of that. And that's OK. So confirm. Bring back that sketch and do another rip to the other side. So go for the rip, select that sketch again. Parts, no, that's the part. And switch sides, make it 11 millimeter and extend profile to part. And confirm. Great. So for my spiral pattern, I will need a helix and therefore I will need a cylinder or a cone. In this case a cone, otherwise I will not get a spiral. So let's go for a circle on the top plane. That's the one which I've hidden. Doesn't matter, go for a sketch. And I need a circle. Let's put it yeah in the middle here which means the distance from the origin 
tools this one should be about 90 and let's go for a diameter of 120 maybe I will have to change this later on okay let's make an extrude with a draft so let's go for an extrude with that sketch here this one and I want this to be a new part and let's move it up and maybe let's go for 100 and add a draft of maybe 30 degrees like that that might be too much that depth here so maybe let's go for 80 because that's the inner circle of my spiral the minimum radius and that's the maximum radius so 30 or maybe let's try 70 hmm let's go for 75 maybe we will see we can change it later on now I want to add that should be of course a new part like this now I can add a helix with that face here let's take a look from above and maybe hide part one so we can see from the top that helix I wanted to have four revolutions and maybe clockwise that's okay and the start angle yeah at the top that's okay and confirm now bring back part one hide part two and let's bring in that helix into a sketch which is on that surface so I go for a sketch on that surface look at it from the top and let's bring in that helix like that here which gives me the complete helix and maybe I could change hmm, the radius or the draft or the length of that cone yeah maybe I should but I will need a point here as well so let's go for a point right there finish that sketch and maybe change that sketch here and make this not 120 maybe 140 confirm let's take a look and now I need this extrude to be maybe 85 let's take a look confirm even more so let's go for maybe 100 yeah this looks okay now I want to add a hole right at that point so go for the hole a hole sorry not hoil hole and select that point here it should be six millimeter and it should go through that's okay and confirm bring back that sketch and now I can add that pattern along a curve which should be over here curve pattern it's a feature pattern the feature will be that hole and I want it to be patterned along that curve and let's go maybe for 80 instances yeah looks pretty good so let's confirm and maybe hide all sketches and that curve as well and I'm done so I hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on Facebook, 
Instagram and GrabGet and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.